okay, ardent fans and constructive critics, I presume you and your beloved ones are in fine fatigue. It is activist, activist portraiture. Professor Yesurish back with the band for my 69th video in process for publication on YouTube today, 25th of August 2020. Topic for discussion today is overview of MRP1 and MRP2. MRP1 is materials requirement planning, MRP2 is manufacturing resources planning. MRP1 is a technique that gives us in, the, in detail requirement of the raw material and components to be used in the final product. It identifies the right quantity of each raw material and component item. In industries, the requirement of material in large scale and it becomes difficult to keep a track of requirements and purchases. By the use of this technique, the production and delivery lead times can be reduced. The outcome of which would be realistic commitments to the customer enhancing the customer satisfaction. This can bring close to the potential customers, moreover excess inventory with, wouldn't be ordered. MRP2 is a system which uses one unified database to plan and update all the activities of all systems. It can be part of marketing or purchase information systems. It serves as a game plan for operations. It enables us to find the optimum strategy for the production. It is an impetus for a new generation of manufacturing planning and control systems. MRP is a computer-based production planning and inventory control system. MRP is concerned with both production scheduling and inventory control. It is a material control system that attempts to keep adequate inventory levels to assure that required materials are available when needed. MRP is applicable in situations of multiple items with complex groups of materials. Although it is not common nowadays, it is possible to conduct MRP by hand as well. MRP is especially suited to manufacturing settings where the demand of many of the components and sub-assemblies depend on the demands of items that face external demands. MRP systems were developed to cope better with dependent demand items. MRP2 is an integrated information system used by business. MRP2 is evolved, evolved from early MRP1 systems by including the integration of additional data such as employee and financial needs. The system is designed to centralize, integrate and process information for effective decision making in scheduling, design engineering, inventory management and cost control in manufacturing. MRP2 is a computer-based system that can create detailed production schedules using real-time data to coordinate the arrival of component materials with the machine and labor availability. MRP1 and MRP2 are predecessors to enterprise resource planning ERP, a business inter information integration system. The development of these manufacturing coordination and integration methods and tools made today's ERP systems possible. Both MRP1 and MRP2 are still widely used independently and as modules of more comprehensive ERP systems but the original vision of integrated information systems as we know from them today began with the development of MRP1. It can be called MRP1 or just MRP. Okay, MRP1 and MRP2 in manufacturing. MRP1 and MRP2 evolved from the earliest commercial databases planning and fa packages developed by Gene Thomas at IBM in the 1960s. The original structure was called as Bill of Materials Process Processor. Bill of Materials Processor. Shortly, VO. MP which evolved in the next generation into a more generalized tool called database organization and maintenance program. Database organization and maintenance program
changes is taking me data this organization in this program. I make some refinements. Okay. Sorry for that. These were run on mainframes such as IBM 360. The vision for MRP and MRP2 was to centralize and integrate business information in a way that would facilitate decision making for production line managers and increase the efficiency of the production line overall. The 1980s manufacturers developed systems for calculating the resource requirements of a production run based on sales forecasts in order to calculate the raw materials needed to produce products and to schedule the purchase of those materials along with the machine and labor time needed. Production managers organized recognized that they would need us to use a computer and software technology to ma manage the information. Originally, the manufacturing operations built customer software programs that ran on mainframes. The MRP was an early iteration of the integrated information system vision. The MRP information systems helped managers determine the quantity and timing of raw materials purchases. Information systems that would assist managers with other parts of the manufacturing process. The MRP2 followed. While MRP was primarily concerned with the materials, MRP2 was concerned with the integration of all aspects of the manufacturing process, including materials, finance, and human resources. Like today's ERP systems, MRP2 was designed to tell us about a lot of information by a way of centralized database. However, the hardware, software, and relational database technology of the 1980s was not advanced enough to provide the speed and capacity to run these systems in real time. The cost of these systems was prohibitive for most businesses. Nonetheless, the vision had been established and shifts in the underlying business process along with rapid advances in technology led to the more affordable enterprise and application integration systems that big businesses and many medium and smaller businesses use today. An MRP system is intended to simultaneously meet three objectives. Ensure materials are available for production and products are available for delivery to customers, maintain the lowest possible material and product levels in store, plan manufacturing activities, delivery schedules and process purchasing activities. MRP2 includes all the activities required for the man manufacturing purpose. It is a method for effective planning of all the resources of the manufacturing company. Ideally, it represents operational planning in units, financial planning, and simulation capability. It is also an extension of closed-loop MRP. MRP2 system is implemented in order to regulate and carry out the effective functioning of the plants and organizations as a whole. It is concerned with the integration of the aspects of manufacturing process, including materials, finance, and HR. It gives centralized information of all the databases and activities carried out in the organization. The MRP systems, two system begins, begins with the MRP1. As I told you before, the goal of MRP2 is to provide consistent data to all members related to the manufacturing process as the product moves forward in the production line. It facilitates the development of detailed production schedule known as Master Production Schedule, short D, MPS. that forms the backbone of the manufacturing system. It gives a specific and accurate requirement for facilities on the shop floor, the type of materials required, quantity required on the production line, the number of labor involved for that particular product, the sequence with which it will move on the line and the time required for manufacturing. Features of MRP2 or MPS, item extra data, master data, BD, BOM, bill of materials, production resources data, inventories and orders, purchasing management, shop floor control, capacity requirement planning, cost management. Materials, MRP is a time phased priority planning, technique that calculates material requirements and schedule supply to meet demand across all products and parts in one or more plants. MRP1 is make sure MRP1 is to make sure that you have enough parts when you need them. Take future demands, factor in lead times compared to an on and order, determine order size and timing, control and plan purchasing, American Production and Inventory Control Society, shortly APIX. Definition of MRP2 is a method of for, effort, for effective planning of all resources of a manufacturing company. This deals with the financial accounting incorporated, sales and operations planning, simulate capacity requirements of different possible MPS. In 1989, MRP2 sales in US was about US dollars 1.2 billion, one third of the total software sales in USA at that time. MRP is not a, not only a technique for uh,
planning material requirements with uh, also a logic that relates all the activities in a company to customer demands. People can manage all the resources in a company by uh, using MRP logic together with the data processing and other areas. This entire system is called as MRP2, Manufacturing Resources Planning System. With the introduction of technological advancements such as open system, platforms and client server architecture, MRP2 systems are now, have now evolved into ERP, which is widely used by uh, ERP. An ERP system plans not only the allocation of manufacturing resources, but also the other resources that has application in surveys as well as manufacturing industries. All systems are implemented to satisfy the customer's demand. There are different sources of demand for a product and its component items. Some item requirements are determined by the needs of other items, while others are specified by customer. The former requirements also from customer come from customers but indirectly item requirements can be classified as dependent and independent demands independent demand demand for an item that is unrelated to the demand for other items dependent demand demand that directly relates to or derived from bill of materials BOM structure or other items or end products such demands are calculated and need not be forecasted need not be forecast there are formulas to calculate. A given inventory item may have both dependent and independent demand at any given time. MRP is to translate the requirement of end products stated in MPS into the requirement of components and materials. MPS is the most direct input to MRP. Other input data include inventory status, BOM, fundamental data in item master, live file, and shop calendar. MPS is a schedule for end items. It states the quantity and timing of production of specific end items. M master production scheduling is a procedure that is MPS MPS is a procedure to determine the production schedules and the available to promise short ATP of the end products based on MPS, MRP calculates the replenishment plans from the items in the level level below the end products down to the raw materials. BOM bill of materials. This describes the structure of the products. It states from level to level the components needed to make the parent items. By using BOM, the requirements of end products are expanded to include the requirements of the components and hence the requirements of all the lower level materials. Inventory status. In expanding the lower level requirements, what we obtain are glass requirements. Glass requirement is not the real requirement, net requirement is calculated by subtracting the inventory available from the glass requirement. Since the MRP is time phased, both on hand and on order inventories are considered. On hand inventory is a present inventory, on order inventory is a future inventory and has to be represented by both quantity and receiving date. Fundamental data is item master file. It has to do with the data, data manipulation. The attributes of all, in, including raw materials, working process, semi finished goods, or finished goods are expressed in the item master file. Part number, lead times, the safety stock, lot sizing rule, low level code, etc., are required by the MRP process. Low level code is used to determine the sequence of the MRP calculation. Safety stock and lot sizing rule are used to decide the quantity of the material replenishments. Lead time is used to decide the time to replenish the required materials. Shop calendar, MRP systems are time phase, time bucket is an interval <coughs> excuse excuse me <coughs> time bucket is an interval used to break time into discrete chunks the length of a time bucket is defined according to the characteristics of a business. <coughs> Commonly used time bucket includes week and day. <coughs> numbered day calendar 000 to 99 and numbered day calendar M day calendar 000 to 999. Planning horizon 
See that amount of time now, as soon as you schedule an MRP extension into the future, the planning horizon should cover at least the cumulative lead time to produce a product. Data integrity means completeness, timeliness, and accuracy. Input data should be provided by related people or machine in time and uh, accurately. If required data is not entered into the system properly, MRP2 will produce nothing but garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. MRP is supposed to provide users with credible, credible data, but errors destroy the credibility to turn the MRP into a more ridiculous plan. Discipline, attitude, and training are the keys to data integrity. We say people should be have that integrity. Data should also have that integrity. Education of employees is the most important factor. Information or data processing or editing must occur, occur regularly to keep the data valid. Management must accept the responsibility for the training, discipline, and motivation of everyone who handles data. All the employees handling data must assume responsibility for quality of data handling. The objective of data integrity is to find and eliminate the cause of errors. Companies using MRP, ERP systems should incorporate auditing, self-checking, and self-correcting features into the system. Automatic data integrity checks of the input data include existence test, reasonable test, diagnostic test, internal detection, and purging residences of undetected errors. MPS procedure consolidates a independent demands of forecasts and customer orders to determine the requirement for the end products in each time bucket in the planning horizon. After netting the odd on hand and on order inventory, the offsetting the lead time, the production schedule of the end products. MPS is determined in MPS procedures available to promise. ATP is also determined. MPS is inserted into the MRP procedure to determine the requirement for the lower level components and raw materials. The gloss requirements of components are determined by calculating the plan order releases POR, POR of the parents via a single level BOM explosion. The net requirements are calculated by subtracting the on and inventory and schedule receipts in each time bucket. Solving. After the consideration of lot size and net requirements are transformed into the planned order receipts, planned order receipts appear in every period, lead time offsetting shifts the planned order receipts backward and revise a POR which are the MRP result of current item. The MRP procedure continues to explore the POR to obtain the gross requirements of its components. The MRP repeats the procedure. until the POR of all the items are determined. The net requirement in a period is determined in MRC pro MRP procedure by the following formula. Net requirement is equal to gross requirement minus available inventory. Available inventory of the first period is Available inventory is equal, to, is equal to on and inventory plus scheduled receipts for the first period. As minus allocations minus back orders minus safety stock, safety or buffer stock. And uh, for the other periods, available inventory is equal to projected available balance at the end of last period plus scheduled receipts of the current period. Services are neither inventories nor scheduled receipts as in the case of manufacturing. Services must be provided at the moment when customers use it. In the MRP calculation procedure, gross requirements are the services that customer need. You have to estimate or uh, forecast. Since there is no hand or on and on, on, on order inventory, the net requirement equals the gross requirement. In the case of services, for manufacturing, it is different. Only two rows remain in the MRP report. The MRP is now renamed as, renamed as Service Requirement Planning. The rows are named Required and uh, Scheduled. Just two rows. Information technology plays a major role in designing and implementing the MRP systems and processes as it provides information about manufacturing methods, needs, 
as well as information about inventory levels. MRP techniques focus on optimizing inventory. MRP techniques are used to explore BOM to calculate net material requirements and plan future production. MRP is used is used for mainly for mainly for material management purpose during product life cycle in company. It's good to handling purchase warehouse inventory and many more in this project included part of material management for our department. In brief process test for material for or flow material requirement for each sub department data. MRP has become a general term used to describe MRP, closed loop MRP and the MRP 2 also. So it is comprehensive, covers everything. The advent of cheap computing power in the 50s, 1950s and 60s led to a rapid growth in the number of companies using MRP. After accounting and payroll systems, MRP was the earliest compute applications to become widespread. MRP offered companies the ability to order goods according to actual requirements rather than simply replenishing standard stock levels. Initially, MRP was used for mainly purchased items followed, especially in those factories where there was irregular demand and wide range of items such as in the aerospace industry. According to Brown and others, MRP and MRP2 have been the most widely implemented large-scale production management systems since the 1970s, with the several thousand implementations worldwide. MRP has become a general term used to describe MRP it covers it. MRP close to MRP and MRP2. According to Brown MRP is phased order release system that under ideal circumstance schedule the order releases for needed demand inventory items so that the item survives, arrives just as they are required. It is like just in time. MRP calculates the date upon which an item will be ordered either from factory or from supplier by reference to the date on which the items needed and items arrive. The simple operation which is manual, which is manual for number of items, limited number of items. MRP requires backward scheduling. Each item from its requirements date to launch production and purchase orders accordingly so that they will be completed on time. So it starts from the dispatch schedule actually. The main item MRP uses is read time. Oliver Wright, Oliver White sums up meaning of closed loop. The term closed loop really has two meanings. It means that the missing elements in the system like capacity planning, shop scheduling and vendor scheduling were filled in the system. It also means that there must be feedback from vendors. That is a must. Standard MRP, okay, MRP from vendors, from the factories, from the planner, etc. whenever there is any problem in executing the plan. Capacity planning, standard MRP systems takes the finished goal requirements and calculates the net material requirement. Closed loop system performs the same MRP function but go on, goes on to produce capacity plan. The same plan attempts to show the load required on each workstation during production period whether to be in month, weeks or days. The capacity plan is calculated by using the routing file to show the workload which will be arranged generated at each workstation by net requirements. This shows the total expected setup and run times for all the items to be produced during the period. Close loop, closing the loop in MRP system involves providing the feedback about progress. Standard hours, it is a time as per capacity plan and as per scheduled our work 
should be completed in appropriate manner. Closed loop systems also updates the system lead times. The program I use may use calculate calculated moving average, which can be adjusted by each new figure. In plants that are always busy, this allows the lead time to get longer and longer. This increases queuing and in case of urgent shipment order may delay in some other work. This seems as failure in completion of order by increasing lead times in response to increasing actual lead times the situation is worse and not improved. Finite capacity planning system added and then progress on individual items can be scheduled and measured. A growing companies will attempt to develop systems to solve problems as they arise. The philosophy between MRP2 is decentralization and coordination. Allowing constraint effect, allowing considerable effect effort to be saved by everyone following the same system. Traditionally, accounting figures were not based on same information as manufacturing figures. Advanced user of closed loop MRP MRP system, closed loop MRP system realized that its accuracy of inventory record is good enough to support an MRP system, then it should be good enough to support an MRP system. It can be used for financial purposes. So this allows the financial and production departments to work with the same accurate information thus allowing them to keep business plan up to date. The linking of financial and manufacturing system is main step, is the main step in moving from closed loop MRP to MRP2. It was like, a, it is like an intermediary stage. Manufacturing resource planning MRP2 is a method for the effective planning of all the resources of a manufacturing company. It is made up of a variety of interlinked functions such as strategic and business planning, demand management, sales and operation planning, also called production aggregate planning, master production scheduling, MPS, with the rough cut capacity planning. Material requirements planning, MRP1, Capacity Requirement Planning Shortly CRP and Vendor Requirements Planning VRP Execution Support System for Capacity and Material Shaft Load Control and uh, pl Purchase Planning and Control Operational Planning in Sales Units Financial Planning in Monetary Units Further, an ideal MRP to the system has simulation capacity to answer what if questions That is very important. There should be built-in flexibility. Most of you are familiar with uh, spreadsheets and all that. Output from various reports. Report MRP2 function is usually integrated with financial support such as financial plan, purchase commitment report, inventory projections, etc. MRP2 is often integrated with the company's warehousing and distribution process. MRP2 is an approach to managerial planning, execution and control of productive activity. MRP2 software can relate many information needs of all functions and departments including purchasing, accounting, payroll, distribution, marketing, engineering, production, activity control and general managerial planning, measurement, evaluation and control. MRP2 is an explicit and formal manufacturing information system that integrates marketing, finance and operation. It coordinates the sales and manufacturing plans to achieve that consistency, converts resource requirements such as facilities, equipment, personnel and material into financial requirements and converts production outputs into monetary terms. It evaluates 
the organization's ability to exe execute the plan financially and also evaluate the financial merits of plan in terms of measures such as profit, returns on investment and return on assets. Following is a overview of MRP2 architecture which can divide into three hierarchical levels, strategic planning, one to five years, tactical planning, one to three months, operation planning, quasi real time to one year. The MRP2 architecture shown in a situation where a factory has been subdivided into categories into a series of group technology based cells where each cell is responsible for family products, family of products, sub assemblies and of components and is managed by a production activity system, PAC system. First activity is the establishment of the overall direction for the firm. The resulting management plan started stated in manufa manufacturing terms such as end items or product opinion options. The manufacturing plan must be consistent with the company's direction and the plans for other departments of the firm. The master planning is a set of activities and system for overall direction setting. It creates overall plans stated in production norms. Detailed planning of material flows. and capacity. The second MRP2 activity is a detailed planning of material and capacity needs to support overall production plans, execution of plans. The third and final MRP2 activity is execution of material and capacity plans in terms of detailed shop scheduling and purchasing actions. The elements of MRP2 are MRP1, strategic and business planning, resources requirement planning, demand management, product configuration, sales and operational planning, master production scheduling and final assembly scheduling, rough cut capacity planning. MRP, MPS, master production schedule involves terms the lead time, it is the number of periods required to manufacture or purchase time for an item. It is also called as a cumulative time for components. It might be for a higher level of product or small level of product. So unit of time can be hours, days, weeks, months, whatever. On hand, it is a quantity of this item. It's physically in stock. Lot size, it is a quantity of this item. Normally ordered from plant or supplier. Safety stock, safety or buffer, we call it. Additional stock of these items plan to be invent in inventory as protection against unplanned demand. Demand time frames, it is future master schedule periods inside which changes to MPS are accepted due to ex excessive cost caused by production schedule disruption. Planning time frames, it is future master planning pe scheduling period inside which change to MR MPS are evaluated, changes to master production schedule are evaluated to prevent costly. mistakes. Benefits of MRP, better control of inventories, improved scheduling, productive relationships with supplier. For design and engineering, improved design control, better quality, quality and quality control. For financial and costing, reduced working capital for inventory, reduced improved cash flow through quicker deliveries, accurate inventory, inventory records. Advantages of MRP too, it provides centralized information for the activities carried out in the plan. The entire product planning can be made with respect to data given at the customer level. It receives the customer requirements right from the input data and process the same for designing stages. It exactly plans the quantity and type of materials required during the production by coordinating with the purchase department, purchase of materials. It decides the number of man hour rates for manufacturing the product. It gives the exact period of production for complex parts so that the maximum estimation for a particular process can be decided. Disadvantages of MRP2, we have to look at both. Initial investment for the setup of the operational activities is costly. It is very lengthy and time consuming process. There must be a fully dedicated staff, dedicated staff for planning the activities and the ex timely execution of the same. The initial process of MRP1 must be foolproof for timely execution of data. By using MRP1, it 
it becomes feasible for the manufacturer to procure the right quantity of components at, at the right time, thereby avoiding cost of excess inventory. Also, having the right material at the right time reduces the production and delivery lead time. We call it as just in time. This in turn increases the customer relations. MRP2 is a game plan for operations, as we have discussed. It provides transparency to the process. The development of the process can be checked at any stage. Moreover, the reports of any stage can be generated, like planned or order release, daily shortages for a purchase and shop order. It also enables us to get the revised action report on revision of activities. Both the techniques gives us the ability to be flexible around process and revise them as per the need needs. Make it more flexible to use. Debates, discussion on topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me call it a day. We'll meet again real soon. Some of the statements you express are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades. Always watch these videos with a close passion for 100 to absolute 100 percent comprehension as per my sincere recommendation resilient time so far from the bottom of my heart i know i rushed through to complete the presentation within 20 minutes max which i'm not able to do right now because i make honest attempts to cover the selected topics more elaborately including so many intricate fine details referring a wide variety of sources I add my besides i add my own salt and masala and pepper based on my personal experiences so far in my life and also intuition. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing, attribute to the pandemic, novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan, lead a healthy life, God alone can put a stop to natural unnatural events, maybe bio work, however events like uh, pandemics which may lead to apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on the earth for no fault of those. All the best, resting peace and harmony.